If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm be going over a few things here, kind of mixing together a few things from each video into one instead of making separate videos on the topic. So, first, guys, I'm going to be mentioning the Bo Jackson UL that we all believe is coming tomorrow. But before I get into that, I'm also going to, well, not like that, but I'm also going to be going over. The deep dive gridiron notes a little bit, all the stuff about Madden 21 last night, the gameplay, the Twitch stream, kind of my thoughts. I'm going to be mixing that all together into one video instead of going ahead and making separate videos because, of course, I could do that, but that would be more time consuming for you guys and myself when I could really split it into one and kind of go half and half here. So, pretty much is how I'm going to be doing this. So, guys, before we get into today's video, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on your bell, boys. I'm going the family. Make sure this video a big thumbs up, as always. And comment down below two things. First, are you excited for UL Bow? Do you think we'll actually get one? And then two, let me know what you think of Madden 21 in the deep dive gridiron notes. Are you guys kind of excited? Do you think that this stuff is good news or bad news? What feature you're looking forward to? Let me know everything down below. Guys, heading over to the Madden screen to go check everything out. Now, guys, as far as Ultimate Legend Bow, in terms of pricing right now, I don't think it'll be too expensive because Ultimate Legends really aren't that crazy. Uh, he'll probably end up being like 200k max, like initially. Probably like 500, but it'll probably come down to 200 real quick. Ultimate Legends really just don't hold any weight and value anymore. Most things in this game, they all don't hold much weight and value. He'll probably be, let's see, if he's 99. Yeah, okay, so no, maybe initially he'll be like 500k. And then he'll probably come down to like 400k. But then like in a week or two, he'll probably be at like 200. Probably that's what I think at least, but who knows. Maybe I'll be wrong on that, but it remains to be seen. But let me go show you guys the tweet that kind of just confirms Ultimate Legend Bow coming. We'll probably get a pre-release tonight, but let's go check it all out. Let's head over to the... Let's play capture and see everything else. As you guys see here, Madden Olden team tweeted out, oh, we see hashtag Bo Jackson is trending. Now again, could this mean that they're dropping it? It, it? it could not. But for the most part, for them to randomly tweet that, that's more than likely a hint at Ultimate Legend Bo Jackson. Now as mentioned, we haven't gotten an Ultimate Legend Bo Jackson, so it just makes sense. And Ultimate Legends are tomorrow. So we'll probably know sometime around like 8 p.m. tonight when they do tweet out the uh the screenshots of tomorrow's Ultimate Legends. Hopefully he's not the LTD, but he may be the LTD. But for the most part, it'll still be super fun. Probably one of the best running backs, but he does have a golden ticket. So I wonder, because it's so much later than golden tickets, will this car compete with the golden ticket? Or will it be more like a, a like how Michael Vick was to his golden ticket? Like a, a dumbed down, watered down version of his golden ticket. I hope it's the latter. Hope it's the one where he ends up being closer to his golden ticket because we're like a month ahead of that. But I don't know how they're going to actually end up doing it. But that could be super cool. A nice Ultimate Legend Bo Jackson. A affordable running back for most people versus his golden ticket. Although golden tickets have come down quite a bit. We're kind of broke out here in these streets considering how much coins we spent on rookie premieres and packs for you guys. I spent a few million coins in the last few weeks. I definitely need to get my coin stack up just so I can finish off this year. But Madden 21 is pretty close. You know, I don't want to go ahead and just go start buying packs or anything. So I'm trying to get my coins any way possible other than actually having to spend money in this game, which I will not actually. It's not even like a thought. It won't happen. But now let's head over to the gridiron notes and check out everything else there, which is right here. So Madden NFL 21 gameplay deep dive. So for all you guys who probably run this, I'll give you guys my thoughts on it. So run defense. Simply put, stopping the run in Madden 20 was difficult for the most. Madden 20, we aim for a more balanced run to pass ratio. So we made improvements to our run fits and defensive gaps. Okay. Force defenders along the line of scrimmage to snap. We use wider angles at the start of the play to show more anticipation and better pursuit prediction to set the edge versus outside running plays. Force defenders will show more anticipation than pursuit angles uh, when facing quick hitting outside running plays such as jet sweep and touch pass. So they'll get in position to set the edge. Hammer and fill plays. Defender responsible. Okay. Force defenders will have wider formation alignments and many base formations such as 3-4 more plays where the force line on the line of scrimmage instead of the ball. Edge and force defenders will have wider gap integrity versus heavy wing tight end sets. Okay, so that, I mean, that, that's good right there, actually, because the thing is with wing tight end sets are heavy, like, the issue is here is that sometimes when we come out in those sets to run, you have more tight ends or you have more, like, blockers there. So, in, like, things like wing, people would just cut it right outside instantly with human joystick, but if there's an edge and force defender will have a wider gap integrity, it should set that edge and really stop them from doing that. And then you improve blocking interactions or running lanes by pushing blocks further into the backfield during engagement. Which that's good sexy that that's realistic because in real life a good a good defensive lineman will blow up the lineman Let's like let's say the, the right guards and responsible for pushing up and closing out the, uh, the defensive tackle Chris Jones doesn't let that happen. He'll push you So if you get pushed back your whole running play gets thrown off You gotta like make a play out of that which happens like if you ever watch Giants game Saquon Barkley all the time His running plays just get blown up and he has to like make his own little hole That's a real thing if you have a really good defensive lineman That's what they should do. It shouldn't be every play the same way 
He's going to run up the middle for four yards, four yards, four yards. Oh, we finally stopped him four yards. In this sense, the way it's going to work is that a good defensive lineman will disrupt uh, blocking lanes. Not that they're going to quick block shed, but they'll disrupt that little ease of inside zone. More like you have to like, cut it back or something, which is more realistic. Tackling improvements, of course. It is what it is with that. They say it's supposed to be more realistic. Uh, when you're near the pylon, they'll tackle you in a certain way to prevent you from scoring. We'll see how that ends up going. Location-based. Zone drop coach adjustment, which is pretty cool. It allows you to customize the depth of your zone drop for unknown underneath zone defenders, which is actually cool. Because technically, let's say you're running a flat. And the issue is flats cover like I think like one to three to four yards for me. I hate when people run those like those intermediate outs all game. Like every time you're in a cover three or something, or a cover two, they run those intermediate outs. And it's just like eight yards up, three yards out. And it always catches you right between your zones. With this, if you set your flats to play like an eight to eight yard. It will literally ruin that route while still being able to simultaneously cover a drag. So I think that's actually pretty cool. I don't know how it's going to work or how it's going to be, you know, go down, but it could be really cool. QB and passing adjustments, throwing out of sacks. QBs don't have the abilities to throw the ball while tackle, which is actually important because in real life, when you're getting sacked, you can, or about to get sacked, you can throw the ball away. In this game, as you're throwing it away, if they even touch you, you just pull the ball back in. But yes, yeah, if the quarterback's arm or shoulder hit during the pass, that can impact the accuracy. Okay, well, that makes sense. Throwing out of sacks does carry some risk. Okay, so I guess you, oh, so you, you could fumble if you're throwing out a sack. Okay, that makes sense. That's real life. Deep pass under pressure. Under pressure throwing animations which allow quarterbacks to contextually speed up their throwing animation when feeling pressure. That makes sense because, yeah, in real life, let's say like any quarterback is about to get, he's throwing a deep pass and got to get sacked. He just forces it out even faster than finishing his whole rotation or his whole motion, which does sometimes will, uh, lead to a bad pass, but at least you get it off. Nothing is worse than having a guy wide open downfield and you see it and the quarterback's like, and you just get a wind-up sack, which is horrible because in real life, they wouldn't keep that wind-up. They know they're going to get sacked. Quarterback branch outs. Quarterbacks now quickly uh, branch out of the back, uh, drop back to throw the ball at any time. As soon as the quarterback has received the snap, they've received. Okay, so that's cool too. Nothing was worse this year than in the game when you're like, especially the worst when you're like on the three-yard line in the red zone because you people get open really fast. Those are quick reads. Like you do a streak because you know they're in like a cover two flats or if you just streak the guys and be where I pass them. You see them run right past them. You hold A, but you're still doing your two-step drop back and the game doesn't register. Then you step back, then your A registers and then the cornerback already had time to adjust to the, the streak and your wide receiver stop. And, or you throw it out of bounds you didn't catch them in motion. This allows you, because in real life, yes, if you're doing a two-step drop, a quarterback sees you open, they're like, they're just, you know what I'm saying? That throw that they do where like, they're like a two-step drop, they just go right, they go on the tippy toes, they just throw it over. That should be a thing that happens. Okay, so I like that. They added new max distance, passing penalty based on your throw power, which has always been important. I never thought that Eli Manning and Josh Allen, or even Josh Allen and Gardner Minshew should be able to throw the exact same distance, just a matter of how strong they throw it, because that is not true. Not every quarterback can throw 70, which can also change with, that affects running quarterbacks. Now, Lamar Jackson isn't so like Lamar Jackson with dash and dead eye won't be so overpowered because he can't just go scrambling and throwing 80 yard bombs. He can only throw maybe a 50 on the scramble versus what Pat Mahomes can throw, which makes those quarterbacks more valuable. It's interesting. Pass interference and legal contact. Parity for handoff animation so that all respective handoffs are the same speed going out of the direction. Okay. Defensive. Okay, so they got rid of contain blitzing, which is pretty cool actually. A lot of people were doing that. Contain blitzes were kind of OP. Catching responsiveness. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, something about you can control with the left stick. Okay. Player personnel packaging allows you to change your personnel and play call menu, which is actually cool. Uh, okay. Balance for repeated audibles. Okay, so they, they made it so you can't keep flipping left and right, left and right, left and right the whole game. Because people used to do that all game. Because I've, I've, I've encountered this issue a lot of times this year where people literally come out in offense like an inside zone. And they flip their play like eight times. They move eight times. And before you know it, they have a wide open lane or a wide open receiver. Because it messes up with your defense. Eventually, your defense will be on the wrong side of the field. Like a deep zone will be in a flat. And there's no fixing that. And that doesn't matter what you do. Like eventually, somehow a deep zone ends up in a flat. And like there's just someone wide open. Or the deep zone's on the wrong side of the field. Or if you were in man, things just get real messed up real fast. And it just really messes with things. So yeah, I'm happy they did fix that. Uh, player fatigue for out of position ball carriers. So I guess you get more. It was not a... Hmm. Okay, with a significant reduction to fumbles by scrambling QBs in all game style, except for all Madden competitive. Okay, so apparently they made it so quarterbacks scramble don't fumble as much. So that's true in real life, they really don't fumble that much. Kicking game tuning ability improvements. Wide receiver route ability balancing. That's okay, so that makes sense. Because like, yeah, streak specialist made it so you can like pretty much just moss people. So that makes sense. Coverage defender ability balancing. Okay, so like zoned out where eventually one stop shouts too easy to pick up one of these abilities on the defender and just set it and forget it. Okay, that makes sense true too. Pass leading ability balancing. 
were fairly polar. They allowed you to make some impressive plays and throw receivers open in the best circumstances, but often not. They can result in throwing uncatchable pass out of the reach of your receivers. Okay, yeah, I agree with this. I have pass lead on one of my quarterbacks. I've tested before. And some of my throws just go like a really out of out of out of whack. I really don't know the, uh, the the whole thing behind it, but I haven't really been liking it. So yeah, I don't really like that ability to be honest with you guys. But that pretty much covers all of that. Let's head back over to the Madden screen. Real quick, guys. All in all, I like what I'm hearing, but we always like what we're hearing. You know, you have you have to see it to believe it. So that's just words. Anyone can say that on paper. Let's when the game comes out, I want to you know test it, see how it feels. But here's the issue. All Madden's are going to feel good the first week. So we really got to get in deep and see how it feels a month in. But, you know, it's coming closer. We're less than two months away. So hopefully we get that game. Goes well and we enjoy. But guys, it's better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell, boys. Come join the family. Comment down below what you think of the game and some features you'd like to see added or features you didn't like there. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.